Hello, I'm standing in front of uh, the silent power control cabinet for uh, off-grid uh, photovoltaic systems. In this video, I'm going to present you how to set up uh, really quickly uh, the 5 kW system. In the cabinet, we have uh, pre-installed uh, a 5 kW uh, solar inverter uh, with uh, MPPT battery charger. The first step uh, is uh, the connection to our uh, 48 volt uh, battery. First of all, you have to check the voltage of your batteries. They have to be between 48 and 57, 57 volts. Now we are going to install the positive and the negative uh, cables. Now we are connecting the positive terminal with uh, the battery monitor uh, sensor. The thin red cable is going to feed um, the signal back to the Victron energy monitor system. Here we are going to install the 160 amp uh, uh, fuses. Putting the protective cover. And we switch on the inverter. Step number two we connect the uh, PV string from our solar panels to the right place now. Red is for positive, and black is the negative pole of our. Uh, solar panel. Please notice that this inverter has a maximum PV voltage of 145 volts. Before you install any fuses and turn on the DC isolator, you have to measure the incoming voltage from your solar panels. Now we are measuring the DC voltage from our solar panels. It is 102 volts. In our project we have three panels in series and the voltage is about right. Now it is safe to install the fuses. One for the positive pole and another one on the negative pole. Step number three, we turn on the DC isolator. This is the point where our solar panels are connected to the inverter. The panels are successfully connected to the uh, battery charger. And as we can see on the LCD uh, screen, uh, the batteries are now uh, charged directly from uh, the solar panels. Step number four, we turn on the fans and we set the ambient temperature to approximately 25 degrees. So if the ambient temperature will go over 25 degrees, the two large fans will start cooling your control cabinet. The next step, we switch on the AC output and the RCD. This is the AC output that connects your inverter to your consumer unit or your household. On the side of uh, the silent power control cabinet, we installed IP54 uh, splash proof outlets. One of them is connected directly to the AC loads with this socket. And the upper one is connected to an external generator or the national grid as a backup. This section here is a soft starter for a generator. In case you want to use a backup generator, you need to switch on the 40 amp uh, MCB. If the inverter is running in a, in a hot climate and the ambient temperature is above uh, 25 degrees, uh, we recommend you to adjust the thermostat in order to start the cooling fans. Yeah. 
we also installed a three pole surge protection on the DC side of the, the system to protect our solar panels and the input to uh, the inverter. The surge protection is connected to the positive and negative pole of uh, the solar panels and the third terminal is connected directly to the ground. This is the AC surge protection and it is connected to the 230 volts AC output of uh, the inverter. In the last part uh, of our presentation uh, I'm going to show you the sun resistor from uh, Victron Energy. This uh, uh, sensor is measuring constantly the current flow through the battery and extrapolates the energy that goes in and out your energy storage uh, system. The control screen allows you to set the battery parameters like voltage and uh, amber hours in order to calculate accurately the energy flow. There is also a free application from Victron that uh, gives you more flexibility to check and monitor the performance of your system from your mobile phone. It is important when you deal with solar photovoltaics to measure, validate and verify the parameters of your solar panels and the battery. Otherwise, it is quite dangerous and you might harm yourself or damage your photovoltaic equipment. Thank you very much for watching this video.